Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how a Netflix architecture looks like. So this session is going to be a very easily understandable, it's going to be a use case driven, it's going to be highly technological, and uh, it will be with like most simplified explanation. So the first use case is, I mean, with a video platform, you need video, right? So how we're going to upload a video, how we're going to process a video, and how we're going to fast forward video from the user's perspective. So first of all, once we have the raw file of the video, so for example, the movie, right? We're going to convert it into different formats, different resolution. They're using the transcoding that is to adapt it uh, to like different endpoints with a different size of a screen. Like mobile phone, right, tab, and others. And then and we're going to slice the video into smaller pieces that is for the future fast forwarding use. So after we've gotten so many video clips in different formats and with different resolution, we're going to upload it to the cloud storage, for example, AWS S3. And then and we're going to like send or distribute all the video clips in different resolution, different formats, right to the nodes of the content delivery networks that is in the nearest location to the user to ensure the best performance when it does the streaming. And of course, the video is stored in a distributed way that we need to uh, like fetch in a very efficient manner. So we need to label the video with a resource address, for example, the URL. Right? So where are we going to re uh, store uh, the URL information? Right? We're going to store it onto a NoSQL database that supports the key value pair. Right? And then with all the information we have, so when a user performs a fast forwarding, basically on the user interface, it's just to select the thumbnail of the particular video clip, right? So with the key value pair information that we had for the video resources addresses, that we know that, okay, where to look at the video, uh, we're going to ask the video to be sent via the CDN networks, right, to the particular user. So basically this is how it works. Right, for the Netflix right, to process, right, for the user uh, to right, do a fast forward of a video. So the second use case is uh, how we're going to recommend the video to the user, right? how the user perform a search of the video that he know on demand. So over here, imagine that we have the microservices that is running on the Netflix backend. And the microservice is, for example, the video play microservice is going to send the log messages that contains the user browsing history to a message bus or message broker called Kafka, right? That makes message delivery in an asymmetric format. And we're going to like leverage or map reduce uh, for processing the data that is stored on the HDFS, right? Usually it will be the offline data. Or for the patch jobs, and of course, right, you can like, stream it to a spot streaming that for real time data processing. So, uh, basically, you're going to like um, collect the data and or you're going to process the data uh, into the format that you want, right? And for example, you're going to consume the data for the sales forecasting for the next quarter, right? From the network as sales uh, from the Netflix sales team perspective or we're going to leverage the user browsing history or the interest of the similar type of the user to do the video recommendation to you so this is how the video recommendation on netflix works and of course you'll be asking hey once a user want to perform a search what is the backend architecture so over here when the kafka stream the logs right it's going to stream a copy of the messages to a node SQL, for example, Cassandra as well. And the Cassandra is going to be integrated with the Elasticsearch that supports the inverted index, right? That is ideal for the search engine use, right? So basically on the back end, the Elasticsearch is the key to uh, the, 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 the video search functions. So 
The third use case is, okay, once we know which video to watch, once the user click on the video that we want to play, so you're going to send the request, uh, it could be a REST or HTTP request, right, to the load balancer, it could be a cloud-based load balancer, it could be an on-prem load balancer called the NGX that serves uh, as a like, reverse proxy as well. And then you're going to send the request to the API gateway, or in old uh, Netflix architecture, they're using Zool, right? That is integrated with the Eureka for the service discovery and the Histrix for the circuit breaker function. However, I mean, in the evolved technology or architecture, uh, I mean, it could be replaced, for example, you replace the Zool with the gateway, or you replace the Eureka with Necros, right? That is maintained by Alibaba. Uh, you, you can even use a cloud native way, for example, use the AWS API gateway to do the routing, filtering, relimiting, uh, and authorization authentication, etc. Right? Or uh, you can even like use a service mesh, right? If it's like um, deployed uh, in the, the uh, a Kubernetes platform, um, so it's gonna route uh, the request to one of the microservices, for example, the video play microservice, and then it has to know, okay, where the video is, right? So we're going to send a query to a cache, right? So why we need a cache over here is usually to offload uh, the loads, right? Or the queries to the backend database, for example, Cassandra. So over here, Netflix adopts uh, uh, something that is uh, developed on top of mem cache, which is the EV cache, right? So the difference between the mem cache and the Redis is the mem cache is multi-threaded, so it's more performant. However, the type of uh, the data structure supported is limited to the string, right? The Redis supports more like sets, a list, so that's why Redis is somehow using like e-commerce or other use cases more often. And now we know where the video is, then we're going to send a request to the CDN nurse, and the CDN nurse is going to stream the video to the user. And of course, in the meanwhile, there's another like, microservice will be sending the user transactional information, for example, the billing information to uh, MySQL cluster, right? So of course, over here, we're going to have right, one main node, a master node with multiple like, re-replicas, and as I mentioned earlier, we're going to send the messages, for example, the user browsing history to a message broker, which is Kafka, and to the big data analytics platform uh, for the video recommendation use case. So that's all for my video, for my presentation. Thank you very much.